Hello and welcome to Trend Maker or TR3 ND Maker. My name is Alex and today we're going to talk about a super cool topic and that's getting 120 frames per second gaming on your Xbox Series X and everything you need to know and what you must have on your monitor or TV to achieve that. All that is coming up right now. All right, so you've got your Xbox Series X or you're planning to get one really soon, but you want a game at 120 frames per second because everyone has absolutely been raving about it, how amazing it is. And let me just tell you, it is pretty cool. Okay, so let's talk about the most important factor here to get that 120 frames per second is going to be the refresh rate or hertz of the monitor, and that's often labeled as just HZ. So if you'll see like refresh rate in the monitor or TV, that is usually like around, let's just say it's 60. Okay, so 60 hertz monitor will actually change the image on the screen 60 times in one second. So think about that. The count of one. One. 60 images. Entire images just flashed in front of your face in that one second. So that's really fast. And actually 60 hertz or 60 frames per second is really nice gameplay if you haven't played at that. Most uh, movies you watch on TV and YouTube is really coming at the images are coming at about 30 frames per second. So dumping it, jumping it up to 60, definitely a nice improvement, a little smoother, a little faster. But going to that 120, woo, next level. Okay, so to get that 120 frames per second, you must have, okay, you must have a refresh rate of 120 hertz or higher, okay? So you can go above it, but you can't go below it. Okay, so let's just talk about this as it's like a speed limit. So that hertz of the monitor, just consider that the speed limit for the frames per second. 120 hertz monitor will go up to 120 frames per second, but not over it. Okay, so you can go less than that. Many games are actually supported right now are 60 frames per second. So with a 120 hertz monitor, you can play 60 frames per second. No problem. You can watch movies at 30 frames per second. No problem. You just can't go above it. Okay, so that's set in stone. You can't change that. It's the laws of physics, or at least on electronics. Okay, now, other thing that's important here is, of course, the game must support 120 frames per second. So games like Call of Duty, Halo, fast action shooter games are often... Uh, the news on the new ones that have released are 120 frames per second. So you must have that. But some of the fantasy games, because they're more graphics intense and they're not really like speed intense, those are often 60 frames per second. And of course, with a 120 hertz monitor, you can play those 60 frames per second games as well. Okay. The other thing we need here is the connector or cable uh, for your specific uh, monitor, whether it's 1080p, 3K, or 4K. All right. So let's break down the different monitors and what you need in those specific monitors and the advantages of each. All right, so let's start off with the more budget-friendly option to get that 120 frames per second, and that is going to be a 1080p monitor. Okay, so we're going to need a 1080p monitor, preferably a gaming monitor, because it'll tend to have some of the response rate and some of the, the lag time and things like that reduced a little bit, so it'll be a little faster. So we need 120 hertz in that 1080p monitor, and the connector must be HDMI 1.4 or higher, okay? So really simple, 1080p, 120 hertz, HDMI 1.4 or higher, and that's pretty easy to get, and you'll see a lot of those at 144 hertz, okay? All right, super easy. And the thing here is with this with this 1080p monitor is you probably want to go, if you're using a monitor, you want to get a smaller screen. You'll, you won't notice that pixelation as much if the screen is smaller. So if you get like a 22, 24 inch, it'll actually look really sharp. Going to like a 27, you may see a little pixelation depending on how close you sit. The pixelation to your eye is really about distance. If you're sitting very close, you may notice pixelation, but once you start moving back a little bit, like watching a TV, if you're gaming on a TV around a couch with some friends, once you get a couple feet back from the TV, the pixelation is not as noticeable. So you can go 40 inches, 50 inches, 70 inches, and you really don't see that pixelation as long as you have a few feet behind you. All right, so now this is actually where I think is the best bang for the buck right now for the Xbox, and that is getting a 3K monitor with that 120 frames per second. And the thing is, the 3K monitor is going to cost you maybe $100, maybe $125 more than that 1080p, but you're getting a much sharper image, and you can go a little bit bigger on your screen and not notice that pixelation. And again, it's just a minor expense more, but you're really getting the best of both here worlds here. You're going to get that awesome 120 frames per second in that sharper image. Okay, so what we need here to get that 120 frames per second in a 3K monitor is 120 hertz or higher, I see a lot of them at 144. And important thing here is it must be through an HDMI 2.0 cable or higher. Okay, so HDMI 2.0. 
Many will display that they can do it on the display port. It must have the, that 120 hertz available through the HDMI 2.0 or higher. That will have the necessary gigabytes per second to handle 3K resolution, 120 frames in a second. All right, so you want to max out your system and you want to go 4K, 120 frames per second. Okay, so first thing, obviously we need 4K monitor, 120 hertz or higher, but here's a caveat. You must have an HDMI 2.1 connector. If you do not have that, you cannot get it. There is a massive amount of bandwidth that is needed to get 120 frames per second at 4K, okay? And there are some monitors actually out on the market right now that advertise 120 hertz 4K. Here's the thing, they only do it through the display port, okay? When you're going in and they have HDMI 2.0. So what happens is when you're going to a console and you're plugging in through the HDMI, it's actually gonna kick you back to 60 hertz or 60 frames per second. So right now there really are no monitors that do 4K 120 hertz with an HDMI 2.1, so you can't get 120 frames per second. But don't worry, there's actually quite a few monitors coming out. I think there's five or six right now that'll be out over the next couple months. Now I do expect that these monitors are gonna be a little pricey. They're gonna probably run around $750 to $1,200. And that's just based on right now these monitors that are 4K 120 with the HDMI 2.0. Okay, that's the price point of them right now. So they're gonna be pricey and they probably will be in high demand for the first few months as a lot of gamers are gonna to wanna to get that monitor to get the max through a, through, a, through a monitor. Okay, and 4K will look amazing on, if you're playing close, any screen up to let's say 32, maybe even 36 will probably look pretty decent. But 27 will look amazing, uh, 32, 36 will probably be okay. Now for a TV, you know, you're usually sitting back a bit so you can go as big as you want, uh, especially if you're gonna sit around with your friends and watch TV and other things with that. TVs are a little easier, and there are quite a few TVs right now that are 4K, 120 hertz or higher, that do have that HDMI 2.1. So basically right now for that, you're gonna have to get the TV. Um, but there are other things like there's lag, there's a res the response time, there's other things that are a little, not as premium or not as good for gaming as the monitors. The best performance will be through the monitor, but there's a compromise because you can do so much more with the TV, especially if you have a family. Okay, now, um, I will put links in the description down below for 1080p monitors that do the 120 frames per second, 3Ks, and the 4Ks that all do 120 frames per second. Ones that I have approved, ones that I either have seen the reviews, I've talked to somebody about them, or I have a friend or know somebody that has that monitor or TV. So all those way down there should be safe to get the max out of your system. And I do think, uh, you know, on a budget, the 1080p at 120, as long as you keep that screen size smaller, 22 to 24 inches something like that it's going to look amazing and you really won't be able to tell too much of the difference uh, compared to a 4k although it will be smaller uh the 3k i think is the best bang for the buck option you're getting that higher resolution and you're and it's very budget friendly like i said around 300 350 350 will get you a really nice gaming monitor at 3k and then of course 4k uh right now we pretty much just have these tvs available for now Okay, anyways, if you found this information helpful, do me a favor, like and subscribe down below. You know, it totally blows my mind. It gets me super excited to produce more content for you. I hope you enjoyed everything. Do me a favor, like and subscribe. And until the next video, I'm out.